All right guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, it's gonna be a modification video. Um, we're gonna go on to the next modification for the F80 M3. Tomorrow we're gonna head over to your motor performance and we're gonna get some things done in the car. Um, nothing performance wise, and it's more for aesthetics. Um, before we go, you know, if you mechanics out there are watching this or you can relate to this, who likes to work on a dirty car? I've been driving my car for the past week and it has a lot of brake dust, it's covered in dust, um, and it has road grime, so what we're gonna do today before we go tomorrow is to get the car washed. All right, so this is uh, my cleaning section. This is currently in our guest closet. I'm gonna be using Adam's car shampoo today. This is just basically PNS brake buster. I put it into this bottle because I don't have a bottle for it, but we're gonna be using this today. And I got my two bucket method here. Just picked up a incredible brush. Oh, it's an awesome, awesome brush. Day. All right, early morning. Before we begin, let's go with the cold start. Navigate to your mode of performance. Before we head to the shop, I'm gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts, pick up some coffee and maybe some bagels for them. All right, it's another early morning. We're heading to Eurymotive Performance. Um, I know in the last other episode where we were at Eurymotive, um, I was gonna come back and do some more modifications. It's not too crazy. 
But when we get there, um, I'll have the guys there explain to you what I'm doing. Um, I think they'll look great in the car. There's nothing for performance modifications. It's more for aesthetics, but I think it's gonna look great. Um, if you have any questions, by all means, shoot a comment below. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Looks like it might rain, so hopefully I get the car in there by before it starts raining. All right, this is the worst. Just washed the car yesterday for the shop because nobody really wanted to work on a dirty car, but now it's raining. All right, just get off 95, so we're not too far. We're another, what, 1.3 miles away. All right, just pull into the shop. We are here. So this is Standox. Standox is the paint that's used on BMWs right from the factory. So here we are guys, Austin Yellow. This is Austin Yellow, look at that. Austin Yellow. Nice. Yeah man. Come on man. I'll play that automatic stuff. Carlos, you're not in the video. Huh? You're not in the video, you're good. also doing the amber delete this is gonna be taken off we're gonna replace it with a paint match color one because it's killing every single photo I take it doesn't look that good okay so we're back at your motor performance I'm here with the owner again so Dwayne can you tell me exactly what we're doing today so this is your m3 f80 Austin yellow what a beautiful color guys so car is back and we're going to be doing um, color matching the brake calipers. Okay, what are we doing with the the brakes itself? What's the? All right, so a lot of uh, there, there's a lot of talk out there on Google and a lot of different companies out there that are painting brake calipers. So there's so many ways of doing them. You know, you got people that put the vehicle up on jack stands to tape everything off, and then they brush it on or spray it on with a spray can. Is that the correct method? Some people may say yes or no, but we follow Brembo specifications. They have a process in place right from the factory that it's back in the 80s when they first came out with their brake caliper painting. Um, it was down to a science and that's what one of the outside of quality and the refinish is what really 
Brembo has exploded after the 80s. So, so let's just talk about reconditioning these Brembo M Performance calipers to color match this vehicle. So the correct way of doing this, guys, is obviously removing them from the vehicle, breaking them down by removing all the dust seals and the piston, and preparing the refinish of these correctly. Um, the correct way of um, preparing these is to dismantle the calipers completely, prepare them, clean them from any type of grease, brake dust, wax, and then you start your process from there. Um, if you really want to know uh, the, the full process, we will have a separate video for that, but we're just talking generic right now of the correct way of reconditioning your brake calipers to any color you would like for longevity. One thing I wanted to ask too is, um, I know there was an issue with, you know, there's two methods, right? The powder coating and what method are we doing on this vehicle? There's a lot of methods, but there are two methods. The right way and the wrong way. Yeah, exactly. So. The wrong way is obviously painting them on the car, brake calipers, powder coating them to Brembo specifications. That is not the way to do them. So the correct way to do them is obviously, like we just said, remove them from the vehicle, clean them all up, break them down, and start the process from there with epoxy primer, a urethane um, color, which is a base coat, um, sometimes it's a two-step or a three-step process and then a transparent epoxy which obviously you guys would call it clear coat so and you go through the process baking them a few different times you can bake them you can put them in the ultraviolet rays um, there are a few ways of doing that but we'll explain that in our other video um, so this is what we're starting off with before we take them off it's a beautiful brand new caliper but it will look no different than it looks today, but it will be Austin Yellow. And what we're gonna do differently, we're not gonna do the original logos. We're gonna do something a little bit different to make it pop. Yeah. Hey, um, don't tell them, don't tell them. Not tell them yet, not tell them yet. Stay tuned guys, watch so. the videos. And also, if you haven't subscribed to um, Your Motor Performance's YouTube channel, definitely subscribe, you know, yes. they're putting content out and high quality stuff here. You know, I can't wait to get them to do the brake calibers. I'm excited for that. YourMotorPerformance.com.